Hello everyone, my name is Sam. I'm a GP. Today I'm going to present on a topic called causes of diarrhea. Diarrhea is a very common presentation to general practice. So it is very important that any medical practitioner should familiarize themselves with a list of common and uncommon causes of diarrhea. Diarrhea can be classified as acute, which is diarrhea of recent onset, or chronic, which is diarrhea that has been happening over a course of several weeks or more. Let's begin. So this table shows relatively common causes of acute diarrhea, which are diarrhea of recent onset. The first column shows diarrhea of infective origin. Infection can be caused by viruses, bacteria, parasites, or worm. The virus causes include enterovirus or adenovirus, which are perhaps one of the most common causes of gastroenteritis in both adult and children population. Bacterial causes include Salmonella, Shigella, Campylobacter, E. coli, and cholera. These causes of bacterial infection are usually associated with eating takeaway food that are poorly prepared or food that are left overnight without proper precaution. Parasites such as Giardia lamblia or Cryptosporidium are usually associated with drinking contaminated water. This is especially true for people living in rural areas where there is a poor supply of tap water. So people drink water directly from the well. Worms such as nematodes, threadworm, and whipworm can also contaminate water and food, causing diarrhea as well. Next, we have got obstructive causes. In people with constipation, especially with fecal infection, overflow diarrhea can happen when in fact the underlying cause is constipation, but can present as diarrhea because of the overflow of stools. Next, we have got medication causes. The use of laxatives such as coloxyl and sinal, movicol can all cause diarrhea. Antibiotic Induced diarrhea is a common reaction when people take antibiotics to treat certain infection. And lastly, medication such as antibiotics can cause a condition called pseudomembranous colitis, which is a serious life-threatening diarrhea caused by infection with a species of Clostridium bacteria called Clostridium difficile which may not stop even after the antibiotics has been stopped. And fecal transplant has been shown to be an effective treatment for this condition. And next, excessive use of supplements such as magnesium, vitamin C, can all cause diarrhea. In the same way, excessive juice intake containing fermentable sugar such as pear juice can also cause acute diarrhea to happen as well. The next table shows the causes of chronic diarrhea. In the same way that many bacteria and parasites can cause acute diarrhea, persisting infection with these bacteria and parasites can cause chronic diarrhea too. Other infections such as malaria and HIV infection can also cause chronic diarrhea. Immune conditions such as celiac disease is known to cause diarrhea and weight loss due to mole absorption. Whereas inflammatory conditions such as diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis can also cause diarrhea and can be associated with bloody diarrhea. Next, we have got neoplastic cause. Colorectal cancer, ovarian cancer, and peritoneal cancer all can cause chronic diarrhea. Obstructive causes such as intussusception and ischemic colitis, which is an obstructive process within the arteries applying the power can all cause chronic diarrhea. And finally, irritable bowel syndrome and leg taste efficiency both can cause chronic diarrhea. Irritable bowel syndrome usually presents with diarrhea after having 
food that are rich in fermentable sugar, whereas lactase deficiency associated diarrhea usually happens when someone drink or eat food containing large amount of lactose. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my presentation, please kindly subscribe. Thank you.